Agency says an external factor could be to blame for the recent spate of launch failures. The latest of these was on the 23rd of December when a satellite, the fifth in a year, crashed in Siberia shortly after blast off. Yes, let's find out now what uh, the space chief's conspiracy theory actually was from Prime Time's Natalia Novikova. Hopefully you have all the answers, Natalia. So, what forces, mysterious forces, could have been at play here? Well, first of all, if you think about it, it is quite odd. Then, in less than, in just slightly over a year, there, there there's been uh, already five space uh, fail space flights, uh, and those include uh, fallen uh, GLONASS navigation systems, uh, Progress cargo carrier, photo um, Phobos ground orbiter, and now this. Now, according to the head of Roscosmos, um, he hinted that uh, there could be an unknown impact imposed on all of those spacecraft during the time when they go through a territory that's overshadowed and invisible um, to Russian radars. He didn't point a finger at anyone in particular, but he said that such technologies do exist and he does not exclude a possibility of a third party being involved. Now, to exclude such uh, situations in the future, he said that by the year 2013, Russia will be able to track down its spacecraft, uh, sk spacecrafts in real time uh, thanks to new technologies that will be introduced. Okay, can you just please remind us of the launch failures uh, that we mentioned earlier? Well, uh, in December 2010, three Russian satellites, GLONASS, uh, fell down in the Pacific Ocean somewhere near Hawaii due to um, apparently a malfunction of the rocket that was taking them into space. November last year, Phobos ground orbiter was launched from Baikonur. Now, the mission uh, was to deliver samples of ground of Phobos, which is one of the moons of Mars, back to Earth. But, however, uh, the, the object is still in space, malfunctioning and expected to fall down in uh, the middle of January. According to the head of Roscosmos, Russia was taking a big risk uh, launching Phobos grounds uh, due to the previous failures. Of course, we shouldn't forget Progress, Cargo, Carrier and now Meridian satellites. Yeah, I'm curious as to what the space chief meant by external forces, what he means another country and perhaps even little green men, who knows. But um, perhaps he's just trying to distract more attention away from the most recent crash, the Meridian satellite. Any more information on what caused that? Well, uh, according to the report, it crashed during the launch of Soyuz 2.1, which was meant to deliver the satellite into space. And as the third part of the launcher was detaching from the second part, there was an unexplained drop in pressure, a severe one that caused an explosion. Uh, so the satellite fell uh, over Siberia. Its, par its parts uh, crashed into a uh, small city near Novosibirsk, the capital of the region. And it really looks like uh, people living in Siberia should start to really think, um, be thinking about some serious head protection, uh, perhaps even wearing helmets as unexpected objects keep falling down on them from the sky. Right. Uh, as the Russia's space agency blames recent failures on external factors, with all the latest, that's our correspondent, Natalia Novikova. Thank you.